In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Garmin True Swing and whether or not it's worth picking up. So what we're going to be covering in this video are my first impressions, what it actually does, how it performed, the pros and cons, and also the best place to buy one. So I will just mention our gear giveaway if you want to enter into our 100, 500, and 1000 subscriber giveaway. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment giveaway down below, simply do those three things and you'll be automatically entered. So this is a club sensor that attaches just below your grip and it's going to send your club data to your phone, tablet or GPS. Basically you'll be able to see your swing metrics, um, you know like club path at impact, face angle at impact, shaft lean, um, you know club speed, that kind of thing. So it's pretty cool. Um, you can also see 3D animations of your swing. Um, so you can basically see your club path and that kind of thing. Um, so it's pretty cool. It does a few other things as well but these are kind of the main things that it actually does. So what exactly does it do and how does it actually work? But basically once you attach the sensor to your grip, you download the app and all you have to do after that is select the club that you're swinging and take your swing. After you do that, um, the data will be transferred to an app um, and you can basically see a 3D image of your swing path, your club head speed, tempo, um, you know, club path and impact and all that kind of stuff. And you can also compare to two different swings. So you can do, if you have like a good swing and then a bad swing, you can basically compare them and see what the difference was. So that's pretty cool. Um, one thing I didn't like though, is that most golfers really are going to have no idea what most of the numbers mean. Um, you know, like, you know, club head speed, that kind of thing is going to be fine seeing the 3D image, but but when they get numbers for like dynamic loft and shaftly and that kind of thing, most aren't really going to know what's good and what's bad and pretty much like how they can adjust that to improve their game. So that's kind of one thing I didn't really like about it. Um, but for more advanced golfers who actually know what that means, um, it could be a useful tool. But was it actually easy to use? And when it comes to setting everything up and getting started, um, it was very, very simple. All you have to do is attach it to your club, download the app, select your club and then take a swing. Um, one thing that was a little bit tricky was understanding what a lot of the data in the app means. Um, you know, we just kind of just mentioned that, but another thing that was fairly, uh, a little bit frustrating was you basically had to swap the sensor from one club to another after each shot. So there is only one sensor, so you, you can buy, you know, like 13, 14 different sensors, but that's going to get pretty pricey. So if you want to actually take it off one club and put it to another after every shot, um, it's a little bit frustrating, but it's kind of something you have to do, I guess. But how accurate was it? So when it comes to the data um, the True Swing gives, it was actually a bit more accurate than I first thought it would be. It wasn't perfect by any means, but the data was fairly close to when I was at the Golf Tech Center, um, as long as the sensor was aligned properly. So for a while there, I was using the sensor and it actually wasn't aligned properly, so it was giving me kind of misleading information. But once I aligned it properly, um, it was fairly close, it was fairly accurate, and uh, really not nothing I can really complain about. Um, but that being said, the information probably isn't that helpful for the average golfer since they're not going to know what the numbers actually mean. Um, there really isn't much help in the app to actually tell you what like dynamic loft is and that kind of thing. Um, so maybe you know in the future it would be a lot better if they actually had you know a section in there that actually explained what the numbers meant and you know what uh, basically how you can improve going forward. But let's cover what I like, what I don't like. So what I do like about it is the price is affordable. It gives you a lot of data that better players might need. It's easy to set up and use, and the data seems to be more accurate than other units on the market. What I don't like, you have to swap the sensor from one club to another. Most golfers aren't gonna understand what the numbers mean or what's good and bad. And then other devices provide more relevant information, like distance and other stuff like that. But let's talk about the breakdown. So performance will give it a six, price grow nine, ease of use 10, my per score an eight, which is, you know, it's kind of middle of the pack. It's not bad. It's not, it's not great, but overall it's, you know, a decent thing. So frequently asked questions. So do I need a Garmin GPS to read the data? No, you can use your computer or your phone. Does it provide any putting metrics? No, it doesn't. And then what Garmin devices does it pair with? So right now it pairs with the S20, the S4, the S5, S6, F, G7, and G8. Um, they could possibly be adding more as time goes on, but as of right now, those are the only ones that it pairs with. But is it worth it taking into account all the pros, all the cons? I would say overall, I'd say it's a fairly decent swing sensor that provides some accurate data, but there are better options out there that give more useful information. Most average golfers aren't going to know what a minus 10 degree dynamic loft means or what to do with it. And I have tested out quite a few devices like this. and. The one that I've benefited most from is the Arcus Caddy Smart Sensors. I will leave links for that down below. 
But if you would like to see more images or reviews of any of the mentioned products, or you want to get any of them for the lowest price available, click the link in the description down below. At the time of the video, that was the best place I could find it, so you can go ahead and check out the current price if you want. And if you have any questions, leave a comment down below, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And that's going to be it for the video, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one.